Afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my first vlog to Celtic Nick Walks. The reason I'm doing this is because I fell in love with walking and hiking, especially after the last two years with the pandemic. And I had a personal setback, which I had to deal with. And I discovered my, my love of walking. And I decided to start this, uh, this YouTube channel to hike around Wexford, around places in Ireland and the rest of the world. Now, I hope you stay with me and enjoy my, uh, my vlog. Uh, please comment if you are enjoying it or areas that need to be improved. It's all welcome. I know it's a learning curve on doing this. Today I'm going to do part of the uh, Three Rocks uh, Trail, which is located just outside of Wexford Town and it encompasses Ferry Carrig and Barrentown to Fourth Mountain. It's a very historic site. There's two castles that we're going to visit, some uh, war memorials, graves, and old towns. So I think it's very interesting. It's a beautiful scene. And today it's a beautiful day. It's the 9th of August. It's about half four in the af uh, afternoon. And it's a beautiful day to be out walking. So please stay with me and enjoy the video. And I'll just show you the scenes of the beautiful Southeast in Wexford. Picture there's a, a round monument, a roundhouse. It was thought to be an Irish roundhouse. It was a, it's a Crimean War remembrance. Um, so we'll be getting that. That's part of our stage. We stay tuned. church. Our just love goji brave she duel. So I think that means basically May they all be at the right hand of God. So we'll walk in. It's a beautiful, beautiful entranceway. But this is right on the uh, outskirts of the town. And it only took, it took me a while to find this when I started walking and started walking around the place. You still discover these little gems that are right outside your door. It's a very beautiful place. You can see it's still kept well. Historic Society probably has something to do with that. Um, when I first came to Wexford uh, in 2008, you know, the people were very friendly and I fell in love with the place. Um, everywhere I met and you made eye contact, they would all say hi. So even though I came at probably the worst time in their current history and 2008 in uh, February, in March, the whole basically economy shut down. But it was still very welcoming and I enjoyed it very much. So now we're getting up to the end. Hi, how are you? Very quiet and tranquil, eh? 
Robin just after being on the back of the bench there beside me. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. It is peaceful. It it's is. just right outside your, you know, five minutes down the road oh. from the town here. Here. Yeah. That's lovely. I like. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and then you go up and you hit the ferry carriage and then you head up yeah. towards yeah. the uh, Baron Town and that. Full of history. It is full of history. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna walk around and. Yeah. Right. Enjoy the view. Well, the bank there is where the rebels from 1798 were buried. Just right up there in the just, bank? Just, yeah, that area there, bank area there, yeah. was the ones on. And that grave there was where the British colonel who uh, led the militia from Wexford Town to attack the rebels, he was buried there. Oh. But that grave is empty. <laughs> His family had him exhumed and transferred to a family plot in Canada. But the local folklore is that when they were exhuming the body, it couldn't be found in the grave because the locals would not have him buried next to the rebels and they had previously dug him up and threw him in the ditch. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Thanks a lot. No worries. Beautiful, quiet place. Lots of history involved here. You know, makes you appreciate what we have today. Ireland's a beautiful little country to visit and to explore. Could be a little expensive nowadays, but you know, walking is free, and most of these sites are free. So, yeah, look at this. Very historic. Very nice. That goes on back here, too. Very interesting. Look at all this. All right, let's move on to the next spot. Well, that was the first part done. Now we're going to head up to an old abandoned village. We're going to head up back to the top of the road where we just turned off originally and we're going to veer to the right. So, I'll see you when we get closer. And you can see grass growing up in the middle of it. Just saying. The, uh, the lost town of Carrick. You can see this, the plaque and the sign has some descriptions about it. It's an old Norman town. Um, it was known as Fitz, uh, Fitz uh, Stephen's Fort. It was established in a fortress in 1169 and this was excavated in 1984 and they found a whole bunch of relics in that and that people brought it to light. And then if you look just behind there you can see the uh, roundhouse. That's the uh, they, they thought it was an Irish roundhouse, but it was actually a monument that was erected for the people who had served and died in the uh, Crimean War. The round tower was built in 1858, often mistaken for a genuine round tower. Um, and then it was uh, erected to, for all the Wexfordians that lost uh, their lives. Back in the 1850s, we were under the British rule, and the Irish made up about 30 to 35 percent of the English army. So when they fought the Russians, um, I think 7,000 Irishmen died during that. So that's what the monument is there to, to show.
Castle. Now, Furry Car Castle has some interesting history about it. It's a 16th century. The castle was built by the Roach family. Uh, they built it to guard the ferry and the river traffic, which you can see right around. And uh, the Roaches lost their land in the early 1600s as a result of the Cromwell invasion when Cromwell invaded Ireland. Very steep steps. Bonjour tout le monde. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Ça va et vous? Vous êtes en vacances ici? Oui. Oui. Enfin, on repart en Bienvenue France, à Wexford. Merci. Merci, c'est gentil. Yeah, it's a beautiful castle here. It is. You can't go in. What you see? It is a heritage site. It goes around. It might have been an easier way to go up than the one I took. But you see how it has a great view of the whole river, River Slaney. I'm going to go down this way. It's a little car park. You can park if you're here with a car. Enjoy it. And then there's the other side of the river. And you get a better view of the Crimean Monument right ahead of you. It sticks out when you're coming across the bridge by the ferry carrot. Now I got a long walk ahead of me. I'm going to be heading up towards uh, the Barrentown Way. So it's mostly on the auto route for the next uh, half hour, 45 minutes. So I'll pause it there. And when I get a little closer back, I'll turn on back the camera. Thanks. Here's the other part of the trail now. So I've been walking about a half, an hour now, total since I started this evening. I'm going to cross the road here. Like I said, it was a precarious journey of crossing up the uh, road from Ferry Carrick to here, but I made it safely. And there we go, continue on. There's the sign for it. And then we'll head towards this way. We have like another walk about, let's say, 10 minutes till we get to the next uh, landmark. And then we're heading up to the hill Port now to inside Barrington. While I'm talking to you about the scenic views we have, I'll explain a bit maybe like why I became interested in starting a YouTube channel and how I came about wanting to. Now a lot of that has to do with the, uh, the pandemic and uh, getting diagnosed in the October 2020 with prostate cancer so i'll tell you a bit more about that in a little bit i just want to remind you if you could i know it's the first one if you could uh subscribe like comment on the video and share i have uh, at the end of the video i'll explain what my next uh my next walk's gonna be it's gonna be on saturday i have it all planned out i'll reveal that towards the end and also if you have any ideas of areas you'd like me to to go and show within Wexford or anywhere in Ireland eventually. I'm going to try to make a lot of different trips. Uh, September 2nd, I'm heading out to uh, Scotland with a group of trail walkers. We're going to uh, Ben Nevis, which is the highest mountain in uh, the UK. So I have that planned. It's a three night event and we'll be touring around Scotland. But I'll keep you up to date, and then I'll definitely be bringing my uh, my GoPro and showing you what how that went 
happened and the adventures that will ensue and maybe the pains that the body will have to endure. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off now until we get there because the uh, traffic's still quite busy as everyone's finished some work and heading home. Feet of Watson by the insurgents in 1798. The death of Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel Watson. So basically, the South Wexford Patriots delivered an ambush on the advancing British Redcoats, and this monument was erected in its site in 1952. Stone monuments there are for water and that. They're not. They're not actual grave sites. So just uh, they have them all over here in our pop up. Okay, so now we're gonna walk just up the road to the crest of the road up there, and we're turning up left, and then we're gonna head in up into the Fort Mountain area. And I'll probably have to get out one of my walking stick, my uh, walking sticks, because it's gonna be a steep incline up the hill. Um, Next week, yeah, the next uh, the next YouTube video I'm gonna do, I'll tell you now, parts of it. We're gonna start off in uh, walking into Wexford Town. We're gonna go by the old county hall, a few, a few uh, points of interest on the way down there. And uh, I'm gonna join the, um, there's the Selsker Abbey, which has a tour, a walking tour, that's delivered during the summer months, six days a week at 11 a.m. by the uh, Wexford Lions Club. So we'll take part in that. And then I'll walk you down the main street to a few points um, into uh, the, into where the uh, bull ring is. And I'll talk to you about that. And uh, there's a special place at the end of that tour we're going to show you. I think it's a little gem in Wexford town. But you have to watch that video to the entirety to see where I consider a little hidden gem in Wexford Town. But stay tuned for that. And again, like I said, please like, and share, and comment. And don't forget, give me your suggestions on places you'd like me to go to. So here I am, got my trusty bag pack here. I had this on me, with me uh, when I went to the Camino. I'm gonna take a little bit of a water before I start heading up the hill. Um, tell you a bit about why I decided to start walking the way I did. So in, like I said, in October in 2020, I was diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer. It was spreading fast, but I was lucky enough I had private health care and they seen it through so I was out of shape terribly and I started walking uh, to get in shape for the surgery and I discovered that I really like it so in doing that I made myself a promise when the surgery was over and I was back to normal health I wanted to uh, walk the Camino de Santiago so my surgery was in February of 2021 I was off work for eight weeks and then I did a lot of walking there, preparing for the Camino, which I was scheduled to go on Easter in 2022, just past. The reason why I had to delay also was COVID was rampant. So I think uh, everyone started to realize, you know, first of all, the, uh, the Yola factor, uh, factor, you know, you only live once and uh, to enjoy yourself. And because we were forced to walk around when first it was like 5K from your home and stuff like that, People started to enjoy their the company of you know walking and the bikes were going mad being sold and also uh, dogs dogs were everywhere people were walking their dogs their poor dogs to death so um, yeah and I went to the Camino I absolutely enjoyed it and I recommend anyone that has never done it before 
to definitely put that on your list of things to do because it is it is something something fabulous I walked from Lyon to uh, Lyon in uh, Spain to uh, Santiago Compostela um, I did 320 kilometers and I will be going back when I retire which hopefully will be in about four and a half years so in the meantime I was watching a lot of YouTube I don't really have TV I only have YouTube and maybe some Netflix I was watching a lot of videos and I got interest in it so I figured you know I want to share first of all my um, my place where they've adopted me in Wexford and Ireland and then abroad I'm gonna I plan on traveling like I said I want to go to Nepal next year do one of the trails in the Himalayas and uh, maybe the year after do Everest Space Camp or vice versa I'm not sure yet I'm still debating on that uh, maybe you can comment on your suggestions what you recommend but I definitely uh, plan on going to Nepal next year so in the meantime between now and then I want to explore Ireland and Wexford so like I said please give me those uh, those comments on where you'd like to see or recommend and I'll see if I can plan it around but for now does it justice but it's just absolutely spectacular here we are at our next castle it's Barrentown Castle it's commonly between the 15th and 17th century like the tower house at Ferry Carrick it was built uh, which was built by the Roach family you can see the castle, the very similarities of it. There used to be a mansion house here that was built beside it that encompassed more of the castle. Don't know if I can get in there closer. I know there's a, see that electric fence. I'm not gonna chance that, but uh, see as close as we can get. You might be able to get up and around there, but We'll take it, look, so here's the, the pack and over here you can see close up of the map where we started. Okay. monument for the uh, Barrentown Village Street. It's what it you take. There used to be an old church and schoolhouse. And we're heading up and out to the uh, 1798 monument. I wonder if this works. No, I don't think so. It's just for show. Or at least I don't know how to work it. Okay, now we'll just keep going. Heading up. Heading up the hill. Give you some shade, but like I said, you wouldn't want to be meeting a car or two because, believe it or not, this is two way traffic in Ireland. You could barely get by with one, I'd say. But 
but it is lovely views. On your way up the hill, you could see a little bit more. Here comes the car. Good thing there's a wide part of the road. Okay, we've arrived to our destination, 1798 Monument, and you can see right over here, Tricolor and the Fenian flag, the harp, 1798, Camp of the Wexford Army. See how close we can get up there? Well, it's kind of thick here. And we would not like this, the amount of spiders that could be here. I think this is about as close as I can get. But, uh, thanks for uh, joining me today. Um, hopefully, you've liked it or found it interesting and um, appreciated all the support if you could uh, like it uh, the video subscribe so that when my other videos get uploaded you'll, you'll get notifications hit the bell button and uh, and please comment on whether you enjoyed it or not and also give me recommendations on where you'd like me to go next like I said, this is the first video, so it's not going to be perfect. There's lots of editing that will have to be good. But if you stay with me from the beginning and see me grow, you'll get to appreciate my growth as well as, you know, beautiful Wexford. Like I said, it's a beautiful county, and Ireland's a beautiful country. And right now, today, we are blessed with the weather. Like, you can't believe this beautiful sunny southeast weather. So, signing off for now, and thank you.